Here is an open highway you may encounter. And maybe you get stuck behind an RV pulling a trailer full of motorcycles and you want to get around them safely. On this road, in various spots, you could pass from either direction because the yellow line is broken. Here is a video of a young man who hears about all of this for the very first time. All right, Jacob, can you pass legally here if you wanted to get around a slower vehicle? Yes, because the line is broken. Right? The line's broken. So would you go now? Uh, maybe. So you hesitated. No. no, you wouldn't have gone there. How about after this car? Yes. Okay. So you would go right now. Now. And that would have been enough time. Good choice. Okay. Now the line's going to be solid here, so we can't we can't pass. We'll talk about it again when we get another opportunity. Now, when you go to pass somebody. You're supposed to blinker on the way out and then signal on the way back in as a courtesy to the person you're passing. Most people don't, but that's the way I was taught. Okay. So let's talk about it. We won't do it, but uh, let's talk about it. Now, if you were following a large RV right now, you'd kind of have to ride the line a little bit like this to be able to see when to get around him, huh? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. This would be an easy opportunity. You'd go after this guy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now, we are going downhill, so that's a little bit of an advantage for us. If you were going uphill, that'd be a disadvantage, huh? Would you still pull out right now? Before yeah. this car? Yeah. And now you wouldn't. Yeah. Okay? You don't want to go so late that you freak him out. That isn't fair. I've had that done to me. It really stinks. All right, you see your next opportunity coming up here? Yeah. So you'd start accelerating a little bit. You'd start accelerating a little bit. You'd blinker, and then you'd go. I mean, when you go, you go. No pussyfooting around, okay? If your gut says don't go, then don't go. Now you wouldn't pull out. See? Yeah. And after you have your own car... You know, you'll get used to its horsepower. Some cars, Corvettes, you know, Mustangs have a little more get up and go. And this would be an easy one. This is the young man who was driving and killed himself along with a 16-year-old classmate and an 8-year-old girl. There were many mistakes made that afternoon on this stretch of highway. The driver passed on a section of highway that wasn't designated for passing, and two of the dead occupants weren't wearing their seat belts. In this day and age, do drivers and their passengers still need to be told to put on their seat belts? Apparently for some, this is still a news flash. Let's go people, wise up please! Tonight, we have new details about the accident that killed three people east of the metro. An eight-year-old and two teenagers died in the crash west of Payton on Highway 62. It happened just minutes after school ended. Another teen is still in the hospital in serious condition. Constance Jones is live in Payton with an update. Constance. Well, the school buses in Paynton will not be running tomorrow. In addition to that, all the doors at the high school and the elementary school will be closed. That's because two of the victims are brother and sister. Their funeral is tomorrow, and everyone in the community is just dealing with the loss. Just, I couldn't believe it happened. Just 10 minutes after school let out, 8-year-old Carmela Sahali, 16-year-old Marissa Mayfield, and 17-year-old Justin Coleman were killed in a car accident. We were here yesterday, and the sheriff and the police and the fire rescue and the ambulances, we knew something bad had happened. Store alert, Joan Marler watched out of her window as emergency responders rushed to the scene. You can imagine something happened to your children. It's just... You think about your own grandchildren. The driver, Justin Coleman, tried to pass a car in a no passing zone. That's when another vehicle in the opposite lane struck his car. Justin and Marissa were not wearing seatbelts. Little towns like this are just. 
six are the one. Especially for the children who all grew up together. You know, they, they pretty much um, are hanging on each other right now. You know, all the kids. We'll have more reaction from the children who went to school here tonight at 6. Now, losing two children at the same time has, has caused a huge financial burden on the family, so accounts have been set up at Bank First at the Mayfields and Coleman family's name. Our live in Payton, Constance Jones, Eyewitness News 5. And our hearts go out to them, Constance. Now, the funeral for the Coleman family will be at First Baptist Church in Prague at 2 o'clock. The services are open to the public.